How's it going everybody? The Airsoft company Novridge have sent me over another one of their products to take a look at on the Cam Man Extra channel. This time it's the Bluetooth Timer Target. What you do get in the box is this piece of paper that tells you the three different modes that the Target Timer has on it and it also tells you how to connect the Bluetooth Timer Target to the app on your phone. You also get a double USB-C lead there to charge it up. The target is a fairly simple design. You've got this two millimeter thick piece of aluminum or aluminum if you are in America and it sits on like an axle there which is spring loaded so when it's shot it springs back into place. The main electronics are all protected by this steel base so if you're a bad shot like me you don't have to worry about shooting the electrics out, the electronics out at all. You can hear when it goes backwards and forwards. It's on a micro switch just down there so when it's shot, that sets off the micro switch there. On this side just here, you've got your USB-C charging port just there, so you can use the cable that it comes with. It might be a bit tricky finding something to plug this into. If you haven't got anything to plug the other end of that into, you can always just use one of these that you might have lying about the house, which is a USB-C to USB-A, and then you can just plug it into your normal three pin plug or two pin plug if you are in America, and just use that. Now the plug, I'm showing you here obviously doesn't come with it this is the only charger link that does come with it but um, these are cheap enough to buy off Amazon or eBay if you need to as well you can charge it on the go by using a power bank so we can plug a power bank into it like that and you can see can you see that there's a little LED that's on to show that we're now charging so if you really want to if your battery's dead you want to use it plug it into a power bank on this side you've got your power switch so you can turn it on and off when you're not using it so you don't go draining your battery. To start using the target you're going to need to download the app. This one is for the iPhone, you can get it for Androids as well. And we're just going to go into it like that. And we'll turn the switch in the on position. And you've got two selections here, so clip cam. Now clip cam is for something totally different. Clip cam is for this, this is the new Novridge camera. We're going to go to Bluetooth timer target. just there and we'll click on connect and you can see that the Bluetooth timer target has been found and we'll press on that and now we're connected. The app is extremely easy to use. Let's go down to settings. At the top there you've got countdown length. Now this gives you a little bit of a countdown before the main timer starts for the mode that you're using. Then you've got randomized start time which I'm going to leave turned off. Then you've got beep when hit. So when you hit the target itself it will give you a, an audible beep on your phone. So even if the target is say 20 meters away you're going to hear the beep on your phone to say that you've hit it. You've got game instructions there. So you've got three different modes. You've got IPSC test got a lap timer and you've just got target practice as well. Down the bottom here where it says times, if you press that, it will give you a list of your previous times, your previous scores on this page here and you can clear them if you want to as well. At the top center of the screen, it tells you your current game mode set. So you can touch the drop down box there and it gives you your three different modes. You've got IPSC test there, lap timer and target practice. So let's just put it on target practice for now. So if you're like me and you don't really have much of a big garden, these things can still be quite fun to use. Um, my garden's about 15 meters in length here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the timer. I'm gonna connect it, connect, make sure it's on target practice. So we're just gonna do use the one target for a bit of target practice, 15 meters, so let's start. So now it's all ready to go for a bit of target practice. Pigeon is out of the way. Watch me miss the first one. Gotcha. Pigeon's gone. When you get a hit, it just beeps to let you know that you've got the hit. Indoors, you can see the LED is quite easy to see, but when you are outside, the LED is near impossible to see in good lighting situations. Let's take a look at the other modes. So you've got IPSC test. So let's select IPSC test. With the IPSC test mode, we finish with this target just here. Let's give you a demonstration of how the IPSC mode works. Right, we've got garden IPSC course set up. I've got four targets scattered about. You'll have to forgive the state of my garden at the moment, but right, let's go. So we're going to hit the start, and on the start, on the countdown, Uh, 
That was fun. That was very fun. Ideally for the IPSC test setting, you're going to need some of these. These are an additional cost. You get five of these in a box, which are the target poppers like these, and you get five of these bases as well. Now the bases have got these grooves in, so you can push your target into them like that. Can you see the little secondary groove there so what you can do with that is if you've got a piece of string handy and you've got some trees in your garden hang them off a piece of string like that right okay now let's look at the third setting we've got lap timer i'm not really sure what you'd be using this for i think this setting is for you to be a bit more creative what you do maybe you can even incorporate some fitness in with this setting as well or maybe a, a circuit that you have to go around multiple times and it's going to give you a time right so what we do is Let's start the timer. So we've got a countdown. I'll set countdown time, five seconds. So we're going to shoot this one, shoot this one, and then we're going to shoot the final target. Now we're still going. It's, it's measured our lap time. It's given us our, our first lap time at the bottom. And we're going to shoot it again. It's turned blue. This is our second lap. So we've now got our second lap time. Right, we're going to shoot, shoot, and shoot that one again gone back red again it's given us our third lap time i was quite curious to see how much power these targets could handle without damaging them too much so i used something with a little bit more power behind it The top indent is from the 177 ear pistol and the bottom indent is from the 177 PCP air rifle. The spring tension is adjustable so you can use something weaker if you really want to. I was curious as to what the actual range of the target is with Bluetooth. This is an iPhone 11 with Bluetooth 5.0 I believe it is. Matt in the great British countryside. I'm going to test to see the range. So we're picking it up there, picking it up. Let's walk backwards and see how far we can get. When it disconnect, disconnects, I will pull out the, uh, the range finder and we'll see what the actual range is. Very curious as to tell what it is. Obviously, I'm out in the open, so it's, I'm in the countryside as well, so there's no interference with it. This is gonna differ when you get it inside built up areas in buildings with lots of other interference. What am I at now? About 30 meters there, see if we can connect. We're connected. Let's go back a little bit more. We're connected there, just about, it hesitated a little bit. It can still find it, but it can't connect now. Oh yeah, just connected. We're gonna call it there, I think, about maximum range. Let's get the range finder out now, see you how far away that is exactly. So just check the range on the range finder. It does say 45 meters, which is pretty bloody good. But like I say, obviously this is the best conditions in the countryside with no interference. And uh, you're not gonna get that in built up areas. You'll see on these, you've got the two small holes at the bottom. So if you are gonna be using like an air rifle on this and wrecking it, you can undo these two screws here just at the bottom, and you can replace this with these poppers as well. The Bluetooth target popper comes in at 59.99 euros and an extra box of these poppers, we get five in a box, is 15 euros as well. So you can add as many of these poppers as you want on your course. I'll leave a link to the targets in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.